So as you are probably aware by now, PewDiePie was dropped by Disney's YouTube network maker. And also his YouTube Red Show was cancelled. PewDiePie is known to make cheeky anti-Semitic comments in some of his videos. YouTube is now rallying behind PewDiePie and his unfair treatment. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know right now on IO. What is up people, this is Inform Overload, your YouTube source for amazing information. And occasionally YouTube drama. My name is Charlotte Dobre, happy weekend to you all. Who else is pissed off about the way the media has been treating PewDiePie. So if you watch Felix, you know that most of the time he's not serious. His jokes are almost always tongue in cheek and he's gotten used to that online persona. And we love it. And we're all in on the inside joke and that joke is that PewDiePie gives very few f but what Felix might not take into account is the people that don't watch him might not understand that he's not being serious, and his jokes could be taken out of context. While the mainstream media has been having a field day with this story, even renowned papers like the Wall Street Journal have been ignoring PewDiePie's clear use of satirical comedy and taking it a little too literally. They actually published a story that's just trash talking him, and they paint him to be this like neo Nazi, which is totally not true. Several YouTubers have taken it upon themselves to stick up for PewDiePie. PewDiePie because it's not only the Wall Street Journal that's doing this, it's most of the mainstream media and that's not right. Ethan Klein of H3H3 Productions, who is also a known Jewish YouTuber, posted a video on his channel defending PewDiePie. He also tweeted, You can't take news at face value anymore. This article is little more than poorly researched defamation. I honestly feel like the media knows that PewDiePie isn't actually a neo-Nazi, but they're sensationalizing the story to get more clicks, which is like, not cool. Sorry. Honestly, PewDiePie could sue them if he wanted to, easily. In addition to H3H3, Drama Alert also stuck up for PewDiePie in their video called How to Defeat the Mainstream Media's Slander of PewDiePie, where Keemstar calls out the publication Wired for their article called PewDiePie was always kinda racist, but now he's a hero to Nazis. Like, what? Who even thinks of that? Who could even make a title like that, calling someone a hero to Nazis without looking into it further? It is clear that independent media sources are becoming more and more valued since the election. It's like people can't just get a story straight anymore. If you can't trust a world renowned paper like the Wall Street Journal to give you real news, then who can you trust? Well, my advice is watch the Philip DeFranco show. He's a reputable source and he does a ton of research, and even when he messes up a story, he comes forward and sets the record straight. And obviously, come to IO. Even though we have our own opinions about things, which we are entitled to have, IO does try to give you the full story wherever possible, and all the facts compiled from several different media sources. Even if the information isn't exactly what you want to hear, our credibility is important to us, and if you ever feel as though there's more to the story, please let us know so we can update it. We are human, sometimes we make mistakes, but we can admit when we are wrong, which I think is the most important thing. Ok guys, it's time to respond to some comments. Katie Sor said she's a feminist new. Yes. La Dale 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 said, The last time I was this early, Charlotte wasn't calling us potatoes. Wow, that's a long time. I've been doing that since like August. If you want to see more of my face, follow me on Instagram at Charlie Chaplin. Check out my personal YouTube channel, or maybe click one of these two videos right over here to keep watching IO.